Hello students, in this video we'll discuss the general relationship between effective annual rates of interest, effective nominal rates of interest, effective discount rates, and effective nominal discount rates. So recall that we have this relationship that 1 plus i, if i is the effective annual rate of interest, this is equal to 1 plus i m over m to the power m. That's how we define a nominal rate of interest in terms of an annual rate of interest. And we also have this formula that 1 plus i is equal to 1 over 1 minus d, where d is the effective annual rate of discount. So this is the effective annual rate of discount. And so exactly analogously to the effective annual rate of interest, I can define a nominal rate of discount. We can define the quantities dm the empty nominal rate of discount compounded m times per annum per year. Okay. And how do I define this? It depends by the following relationship that 1 minus d to the negative 1 is 1 minus d m over m to the negative m. Exactly how we did it for the equivalent rate of interest. Now, I can relate all of these quantities to one another. So for any m and k, so for any m and k, m and n, we have this relationship. We have the relationship that 1 plus i is equal to 1 plus i n over n to the power n, and 1 plus i is equal to 1 minus d to the negative 1, and this is equal to 1 minus d m over m to the power m. And so this relationship defines, relates all of the corresponding quantities. So if I, if I know an nth nominal rate of interest, I can find an mth nominal rate of discount and vice versa. If I know the discount rate, I can find the annual interest rate. I can find any of the corresponding tools, any of the corresponding interest rates given this one and all formula. Okay, now what are some relationships between these values over here? Well, what can we see? We can see from this that clearly, let's look at this first term over here. We saw in a previous video that I was bigger than I n. Okay? Now I want to find a relationship between I n and dn, right? So what's the relationship between i, n, and dn? Well, if I look at this relationship, if I, ha if I put an n over here in this formula, what will we see? We'll see that 1 plus i, n over n to the power n is equal to 1 minus, and this, of course, is going to be a negative m over here. That's being negative. That's important, because that's negative over there. Negative. 1 minus dn over n to the negative n. And so I'm going to take the nth root of both sides, and if I do so, I will have that 1 plus i n over n is equal to 1 over 1 minus d n over n, because that's in the denominator, right? And what we can do is I can subtract 1 from both sides of the equation, so this will tell me over here that i n over n is equal to if I subtract the same thing, I'll have a 1 over 1 minus d n over n minus 1 minus d n over n over 1 minus d n over n. And now we see this is a common denominator, but the one's going to cancel. This is going to be d n over n over 1 minus d n over n. So if I multiply by n, I can conclude that i n is equal to d n over 1 minus d n over n, okay? Now this, what this is saying is this thing that i n is equal to d n, and then this number in the denominator is less than 1, which is making the whole expression larger. So this is strictly greater than d n. And then by a similar reasoning, we can see that this d n is exactly bigger than d. So we have this string of inequalities, and the string of inequalities is the following. We now have that i is bigger than i n. 
IN is bigger than DN and DN is bigger than D. And that's an important string of inequalities that we're going to see that relates the effective annual rate of interest, the effective annual rate of discount, and the nominal rates of interest and discount. Thank you very much.